Your number three ranked USF football team beat Taylor University 37 to six before enjoying a bye week with a 3-0 record. Quarterback Nick Ferrer once again was awarded the MSFA Offensive Player of the Week Award after a five touchdown performance. Even though the junior suffered his first sack of the season, that's one sack in 98 pass attempts. The Cougs rank number one in the NAIA in sacks against. Well, I think it's because I promised them pizzas for every quarter that there was no sack. So, you know, they like to eat and they like pizza. So maybe that's a real inspiration and in the whole deal to protect our quarterback. They're doing well. Our offensive line is doing a great job protecting our quarterback. Coach Miller does a great job. They work every possible pressure scheme and twist and slant. They, they do a, a tremendous job and work awfully hard. It's paying off. We keep uh, Nick standing up. You know, he's, uh, he's getting better and better. He's got a great arm. He's working awfully hard, improving his feet. Threw uh, two touchdown passes uh, against Taylor in the second half on fourth progressions. That just really doesn't happen. I could probably count on one hand through my coaching years of fourth progression touchdown passes. He's had two of them uh, in one ball game. So he's getting quick, he's getting good, we're protecting well. So uh, that puts us uh, in a position to, to be pretty good. The win over Taylor saw the return of running back P.J. Dean, who led the team with 112 yards rushing while averaging 8.6 yards per carry. The Cougar offense as a whole ranks number eight, averaging 505 yards per game. We've got, we've got uh, great offensive skill. You know, you got a stable of backs there. Uh, P.J. getting back into a green first team all conference a year ago. He's working himself back into good condition. Aaron Harris is always solid. Ren Sonata, I think, is going to be a good player as well. So we got good guys there, no question. We have an uh, outstanding receiving core with Colt and McDowell and Kelso and Boswell and Rocky James coming into his own. And, you know, it goes on and on. So we have targets, not any one guy. You know, it's a, it, it's a core. So we're getting better there. The, uh, the defense, I think, is performing extremely well. Uh, we're getting to the quarterback, we're, we're making plays, we're making sacks, we're getting the ball back to the offense uh, very soon, getting back quickly. Not to be outdone, the Cougar defense ranks number five, giving up 244 yards per game. Sophomore Eric Dunton leads the team with 25 tackles in his first year as a starter. He helped get the ball back to the Cougar offense real quick, blocking a punt on the Trojans' first possession then on the next Taylor offensive possession, Dunton recorded his first ever career interception. Yeah, last year when I was playing Bandit, um, I mean, I was, I was third string. I knew I wasn't going to see the field much, so I knew I wanted to prove to the coaches that, you know, I'm very capable of being able to play on the field and, you know, I'll be a good asset to the team. So I found out that through special teams, I was able to prove myself and show that you know, throughout, through my hard work and effort that I put out there that, you know, I'm, I'm pretty valuable. So. so coming into the season, you know, I was trying to think like, you know, how could I best um, help, help out the team, I guess. But for, from that interception, you know, I, for like what that did was that set our offense up for great field position. And when they scored the touchdown, you know, that gave us good momentum and that, that put all the momentum on our, on our side. And, well, you know, he came in last year as a freshman safety. He wasn't quite you know, as big as he is now. Um, we thought he ran well. He was a tough kid, liked to hit. Good cover guy as well. But he got big and he got strong. And um, Coach uh, Didier, Coach Wagner thought it might be best to move Pearson Harnish into the Mike linebacker and move Eric Dutton down to the Will linebacker to have speed. I mean, not too many guys in college football at any level have two inside linebackers or four or five guys. You know, they can run with, with receivers. So we're, we're uh, extremely, extremely happy with the athleticism and speed in our linebacking core. And Eric has made that adjustment from level three to level two very well. And Pearson Harnish? who last year became the first ever USF true freshman to become an all MSFA first team award winner, has seen his tackle numbers go down. 
while the Cougar defense is playing some of its best football in program history. Well, he's now in the middle. That means he's going to get blocked from all sides. Um, it's a new position for him. He's learning. He's a team guy, no questions asked. Whatever you want, coach, I'll get it done. So it's been a learning curve for him, uh, being able to shed blocks from different angles. He's doing well, and he's going to be the best Mike linebacker in the league, too. Yeah, Harnish, he's, he's a really good mentor. Even though he's kind of one of the underclassmen, he's really good at teaching you, you know, what are the new stunts, like helping you out and everything. So he's, he's a really good guy, and he helps out a lot. And last year, he obviously made a bunch of tackles, and he's really big in that aspect. But he, he always jokes around with me about how, like, he should be the one making the tackles, and I kind of moved, moved position made him move position, so I kind of took some of his tackles, but I mean, you know, it, it's just what was best for the team, and we're trying to get the best players on the field, and you know, he's really great at Mike or Will, so it helped us out a lot as a team. Dunton has been a big contributor to the Cougar football program last year on special teams, and this year as a Will linebacker. So what's been his key to success? Every day before practice, I always bring in a couple applesauce, some oranges, and you know, I'll have a granola bar with me. And I just do that because I just get hungry quite often, and I just need something to fill me up and kind of raise my blood sugar up. So, you know, I always bring that right before practice and just eat that. There's no doubt that Dunton helps raise the intensity level at practice, and he's been excited to see the success his Carroll High School teammates are having in true freshman James Jamisich. Blake Schumacher and Jack Givens, along with Gavin Pelkington. He wants to see them succeed. Yeah, uh, some advice I would give is just continue working hard, put in a lot of effort on and off the field, you know, put in that extra work because that, that definitely shows out on the field and let the coaches know that you're really serious about this. And, you know, it's just great coming from Carroll and having other Carroll guys follow in and come to St. Francis because that just shows how good of a program Carroll is, as well as St. Francis and how attracting it is to others. The Cougs are serious about getting win number four, and up next is Lindenwood Belleville with a kickoff time of 12 p.m. at Bishop Darcy Stadium for the Cougars' homecoming game. The Lynx shocked some Cougar fans two weeks ago when they lost at home to Olivet Nazarene 25-0. Well, they were a different team last week against St. Ambrose. They lost at 25-19. They were in it to the end. They're scary because this is probably the best defensive line we've seen. They're talented, they're big, they're athletic. They're athletic on the back end. Um, offensively, they're struggling a little bit. They're a spread offense, running their old goal line, they stole it. Um, but they're struggling finding themselves offensively, so they're putting their defense out on the field a great deal, so we want to keep it that way. Um, hopefully they don't find themselves this week. Lindenwood and Belleville, they have, they have a lot of good athletes on their team, and you know, but the thing is, they, do, they haven't really come together as a team yet, but with these athletes, they can still make plays. So we've got to make sure we just keep on playing Cougar defense and just keep on getting after it. Respect all, fear none.